Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Captain America Civil War. Uh, so I saw the 10 o'clock showing, so I'm sorry this review is kind of on the later side. Um, but let's get started. Let's start talking about this movie. Now with my movie reviews, I do a non-spoiler portion and a spoiler portion. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, but you just want to hear my thoughts, uh, you know, follow me through <laughs> the first half of the review. And then uh, for the second half, I will do spoilers for, you, for the people that don't mind spoilers. Alright, so for this movie, um, I... I enjoyed it. You know, I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm actually a minority that I didn't love Winter Soldier as much as everybody else because I'm going to give you the disclaimer. I'm not a huge Captain America fan. I really don't read a lot of his comics. Um, I like Steve Rogers in Avengers, but I don't like his mythos that much. You know, I can, I can never connect to it. So when I watched Winter Soldier, you know, I, I like the tone of the movie, but there's stuff I didn't love about it. So going into Civil War, this is the, the third Captain America movie, even though it feels very much like an Avengers movie, it is the third Captain America movie. And uh, I, I enjoyed it because we, and, and without spoiling, um, obviously we know that Iron Man versus Captain America. Seeing the teams form uh, was a lot of fun, and I, I like the idea of even though these heroes were against each other, they were still friends, or at least some of them were. You know, there's a moment where um, Black Widow is fighting Hawkeye and says, we're still friends, right? And then they start punching each other again. So it's more of a complicated relationship than let's, oh, let's fight because we have these different ideologies. Uh, you see that they, they've had a past. All these characters have had a past with each other. If they haven't, they've heard of each other on the news. Uh, like, example of Ant-Man seeing, you know, Captain America for the first time. So that was something that I really enjoyed, was that those complicated relationships, and I guess relationships in general, because something I've always had a problem with the MCU um, movies is that it tends to focus so much on plot that you don't have a lot of time to spend with the characters and, and to see what makes them tick and, and get to really see some really interesting um, relationship type scenes. And in this movie, that's the whole movie, is um, seeing what makes these characters tick and, uh, you know, a lot of times with the Marvel movies, I don't tend to analyze too much. It's like, oh, this character's thinking this. But with this movie, you did. You know, I'm trying to think, oh, this is what Captain America's thinking. That's why his motives are like this. And I like that about the movie, that you can analyze their motives and their, their character arcs. And I don't think with the previous movies, you could do that uh, as much, I would say. So I enjoyed that. Things that, and this is not spoiling, I will say the ending kind of leaves you wanting more, but at the same time, that was a disappointment for me. I was like, oh, we have to wait until the next movie to kind of get, I would say, the end of this film. Uh, so that was a disappointment. Uh, characters I really enjoyed, Scarlet Witch, I was, you know, I, I was happy to see so much screen time with her. I love Sam's humor, uh, Falcon's humor thought was really great. Uh, it was great to see Emily Van Camp as Sharon because that was one of my uh, complaints is that we didn't really get to see her that much in Winter Soldier and I'm a big Emily Van Camp fan from Revenge so I was happy to see that she played a plausible, uh, you know, plausible um, role in this film so that was great. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else, I oh well Spider-Man. Can we talk about Spider-Man? We all know Spider-Man's in this movie and he was amazing. Uh, he was so he was the, that was the best part of the movie for me. Now, I am a huge Spider-Man fan. And, you know, I've always said I grew up with the Tobey Maguire movies, so I like those movies for what it is, probably more nostalgia than anything. Did not really like the Amazing Spider-Man films. Uh, I don't know if Andrew Garfield really had a chance to shine in those. Um, and even though I really like Tobey Maguire movies, I don't know if he was the, he wasn't Spider-Man from the comics going into the movies. Tom Holland, on the other hand, was Spider-Man from the comics. And that's something I applaud. Anytime he was on screen, I was just clapping. I mean, yes, Spidey, yes. Uh, I guess my only negative to the Spider-Man arc is Aunt May being so young. <laughs> uh, it's so weird to see that. Hopefully they can explain that more in his own movie. But yeah, I wish they could explain that. Um, and also Black Panther was surprisingly um, a cool character and had a really cool character arc. Uh, in the movie, so, uh, and that's a surprise for me, because I 
really don't know much about Black Panther. I don't really read his comics. Never could get into his character either. So uh, to see that he had such an inter interesting arc from me, uh, I, I applaud them for that. Because again, it's a character I could never really get into. So yeah, there was a lot of great character moments, a lot of good laughs. Um, now I will say, you know, the action was very um, inventive and I love that. You know, I, I like that they could use the shield in a different way or Scarlet Witch's magic or, you know, uh, Black Widow's uh, spy skills. Uh, I enjoyed that. Uh, one big problem with the action though, shaky cam. Uh, the whole first scene, even though it was very eventful, really action packed, uh, it was way, you know, there's uh, parts where it zoomed in, you know, very close and shaky cam. Got me a little dizzy and it made me not enjoy the awesome choreography they had as much as I could have. So that's a little negative on the action. Definitely could have less shaky cam and more, let's just see, zoomed out um, awesome action scenes. Uh, towards the middle of the movie you get more of that, but the beginning was a lot of shaky cam type stuff, so that is a little complaint. Um, but overall, I'm going to give this movie, uh, without going into spoilers, 4.4 stars. Uh, now, I do have a negative towards the main villain of the movie, which I'll get into in spoiler portions. That's kind of what brings it down a little, uh, but again, I can't really talk about it until I get to spoilers. Uh, and again, the ending I was a little unsatisfied with, but there's a lot of good humor. And again, something I've always wanted with these Marvel movies was a real analysis of these characters, a real character-driven story. And, and we get that with a, a lot of the characters here and, and see a lot of their relationships. So that's the best part of the movie. So guys, that is my non-spoiler portion. Now we're going into spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie... Spoilers. <laughs> All right, so going into spoilers now, uh, let's talk about the villain. Let's talk about Winter Soldier, because uh, I didn't really talk about him, uh, because it is going into spoilers. Um, so with, with uh, Winter Soldier, like I said, I'm not very much into the Captain America mythos. I'm not, you know, it's just something I, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, so I didn't love Winter Soldier, the character, that much. I don't, I know uh, that's an opposite of other people, but... Uh, yeah, so with Winter Soldier in this movie, obviously, what I liked about him wasn't really his character. It's what drove Captain America to be on the offensive or the opposite side of Iron Man. It's how blinded Cap is to Bucky and I guess his past. He's holding on to his past. And he's holding on to Bucky even though there's so many signs of him doing wrong things. Now, I know it's not completely in, in his control, so... That's what Cap's side is. But even when you see that Winter Soldier killed Iron Man's parents, you, you know, Cap's ready to kind of kill Tony, uh, really having this this fight between each other. So I like that. I love, And that's where I was going into character analysis. You can really dig deep into why does Cap want to protect Bucky. Uh, and again, I didn't love Winter Soldier's story as him, but I liked what he did for Captain America. Going, to in, going into Zemo now. I didn't like him. I really think he could have been cut out of the, the whole story. Uh, I Now, I understand there's plot motives because of Zemo and this whole different, like, 10,000, well, not 10,000, five Winter Soldier uh, type project. Uh, now, that was the point where if I was going to go on my phone, that's when I would go on my phone, you know? Because I just was not interested. I, it was like, oh, all right, cool. Uh, Zemo. Uh, so I think that villain they're just trying to go with the formula of marvel it's like oh no we need a villain uh, we in i think it was just enough iron man versus captain america because of winter soldier because of howard stark because of what happened that reveal may could have come sooner in the movie if they didn't have the zemo stuff and another kind of problem I had with the movie, and kind of a lot of the Marvel movies, pacing. You know, it is a little long, and I think it takes a while to get to the conflict of the movie, so that that could have, maybe the Zemo stuff could have cut it a little and uh, made a better paced movie. Uh, so that was kind of a negative of, of the movie. Also, I want to talk about Sharon's arc. So Sharon Carter, I, again, very excited about, loved the Peggy funeral scene. Loved it. Loved that that was the motive for Cap to do the things he did. Really enjoyed that. Um, now, Sharon, though, there's a random kiss in this movie. For some reason, they're, and I understand, obviously, they have a romantic um, relationship in the comics. Came out of nowhere in the movie, though. Uh, it's just like, oh, let's kiss here. I'm like, what? Where did that come from? 
Love the scene between Sam and uh, Winter Soldier, the whole car scene where he's like, yeah, dude, that was awesome. And then uh, ax uh, Winter Soldier axing Sam to pull his seat up. Awesome. I again, going back to humor, Sam was MVP of humor. Next to Spider-Man. Well, Spider-Man was MVP. Sam was like, right there. But he was in the movie more. Uh, so, um... That scene came out of nowhere there. Uh, nowhere, though. Um, it kind of ruined Sharon's arc because, you know, I like that she uh, was so much like her aunt, but then it's like, oh, you're just there for, for romance. Talking about romance, they actually mentioned Pepper Potts of it in this movie, which I thought that was kind of a scene. It's like, oh, Iron Man's going to die, and then we'll see finally Pepper in the end. That didn't happen. They're just referencing Pepper Potts to reference. Uh, you know, another kind of heartbreaking thing, uh, thing that happened with Iron Man's team, though, is what happened to War Machine, which I really like that, you know, I really like that arc uh, where War Machine's paralyzed. I thought they handled that really well um, and showed that there was a casualty in this war because there wasn't any other casualties uh, through the team, at least. Uh, because everyone survived in the movie, which I, I was really shocked by. No, everyone was like, oh, Captain America's gonna die. Uh, and then by that end, you're like, oh, no, Iron Man's gonna die. No one dies. So, uh, if you wanted someone to die, that might be a disappointment. There wasn't that big shocking moment. Uh, now, something I also want to talk about with Black Panther that I was, I was a little weirded. Not weirded out, but I wanted another scene from him. Again, love Black Panther's arc. Loved his motive of saying, oh, I can't be blinded by revenge. Because, like, look at these guys. <laughs> uh, so I like the whole theme of revenge and, and uh, motive. I, I enjoyed that. So, uh, but I kind of wish we had another scene of, like, how Black Panther got that suit because we have one moment where he, you know, gets the ring and the thing happened to his father and then he's Black Panther. So I know they kind of describe it in like a sentence or two in the movie. Maybe they'll describe it more in his own movie, but definitely wanted more kind of explanation of the, the mythos of Black Panther and where this suit came from. So I was like, how did they... We could have had another scene of him getting the suit. Just like they did with Spider-Man. You know, we had that scene with Iron... Which is priceless. Again, Spider-Man was the best part of this movie. Uh, I like that, you know, Iron Man gave him the suit. And we and is so much into the mythos of Spider-Man. We even had the spider signal in the end. That was the end scene. That was amazing. Ah, oh, man, I, I love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. So good. Uh, so I enjoyed that. Um, and, yeah, talking about the ending... Uh, that was my biggest problem, was when you end it, it doesn't really get resolved, the, the fight between Iron Man and Captain America. You're like, wait, this feels like Act 2 ending, not Act 3, or, because you don't really know what's going to happen with Captain America. It just seems like that part of the team won't be on the Avengers, but then what are they going to do? You don't really get a hint of that, and usually with the MCU, obviously they hint at everything. They give you teasers. So it's weird that they just ended it there. I'm like, I need another two minutes to see what happens to, to this team. Um, so I feel like they ended it a little short there, and that was a little, you know, a little disappointing, and that's why in the end I'm like, oh. That's it. <laughs> uh, so overall, like I said, uh, there was a lot of fun stuff in this movie. I, I enjoyed the character interactions. I enjoyed Scarlet Witch and Vision's relationship, where that's going. I think that's organically happening. Uh, I really like Scarlet Witch in this movie. Um, really liked her personality. Um, and yeah, you know, there's good humor. Uh, there was good, unique action sequences, even though there was that shaky cam. I'm trying to, I don't want to forget anything, and it's like 1 o'clock in the morning uh, as I do this review. But, yeah, that's what I, I, that's what I want to say. I think the conflict between Iron Man and Captain America could have came a little quicker, but it was good, and it was great to see more of a character-driven film uh, for Marvel. So I'm going to give this movie 4.4 stars. Like I said, best part for me is Spider-Man, but that's because he's one of my favorite superheroes, that, you know, also. I uh, really liked Ant-Man's inclusion here, too. It's seeing Giant Man. Uh, I love that. I uh, didn't expect that. There was, you know, a couple things here and there. It was like, oh, wow, that actually shocked me. Um, and I I'm glad that they saved those moments for us. Uh, so that's my review. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about Civil War. Also, this coming Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we're going to have a media madness on Comic Frontline talking more about this movie and going way in depth about the film. So hopefully you enjoy that and, and join us for that. And uh, this is Comic Inno.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.